So you're thinking about buying a home on a big lot. First of all, what does that mean? Are we talking half an acre, five acres, 20 acres? We're gonna get into that in this video and why you should buy a home on a bigger lot. I'm Todd Tremonti, I'm a broker in DFW. We love to help people buy homes on bigger lots. I live on a bigger lot and here's why I think you'll love living on a bigger lot. The culture is changing. And when I say the culture, I mean American culture. Obviously, there's a million cultures that make up the American culture, but with COVID changes, with the way work was already changing previous to COVID, with remote work, with less time in the office, with digital connectivity, uh, with Zoom and Skype and all the ways that we can be effective without being physically present, more and more people are wanting to live on more land. Now, some of that coincides with living farther out from the center of big cities, like where I am in Dallas, Texas, wanting to be on the edges. Some of that means I want more land in town. I want it all. I want to be near jobs. I want to be near grocery stores and malls and IMAX movie theaters and golf courses and all the things. But I also want a lot of space. Now, typically that's a bigger budget item, but man, is it awesome for those that can do it. So here are some of the reasons we hear from many, many, many of our clients. This is an area we specialize in who really love living on land. More room for the kids to play. More room for recreational activities like swimming pools, ponds, zip lines, playgrounds, greenhouses, gardens, orchard, uh, you know, fruit trees, basketball courts, trails, uh, room to run, exercise, ride bicycles, four wheelers, kids toys, um, you know, yard games, football, baseball, basketball, washers, cornhole, all those kinds of things. Room for outdoor entertaining, like outdoor kitchens and outdoor living areas, um, recreational spaces, uh, room for multiple outdoor spaces. Also some cost saving items like solar energy tends to be a little bit more feasible on a larger lot where you have room for either a, a solar array that's not on the roof, uh, more room for battery storage, um, things like that. Wells are becoming more and more popular again where we can get seemingly cost-free water once a well is dug or if it's already existing. Uh, where you're not necessarily using city water, but you're pulling your own at little to no cost to you. Privacy is becoming a much bigger factor. We're getting asked a lot by a lot of potential buyers, how can I get privacy? And typically a little bit more space between your neighbors, room to put up a bigger fence or grow larger evergreen shrubs and trees to create a natural privacy uh, room to be able to make a little bit noise if you like to play music or have big parties or work on engines or whatever it is that you're into more space tends to equate to more freedom and more privacy and more enjoyment. Um, we're also seeing a lot more multi-generational housing where if somebody buys uh, a three or four acre lot, they might have a mother-in-law suite or simply a second home for parents or children or grandchildren or friends. Uh, we're seeing a lot more of the homesteading mentality where people want to grow a little bit more of their own food and they want to do that with another family or another generation of their own family. We're seeing a lot more kids come home from college or take a gap year before college and live at home and more space is conducive to that. We're seeing a lot of people who are working at home but not in the home, meaning they want a workshop or an office or a uh, secondary entry workspace in the primary home or some variation of that. We're seeing more barn dominiums for more affordable living. Uh, we're seeing um, kind of double businesses where you may go offsite to work, but you might have a secondary business at the home and that needs additional space. I mean, I've literally seen everything from, you know, eggs from homegrown chickens to uh, music studios and all kinds of things where a larger lot, a larger home serves that need. During COVID, we saw a huge surge of all the things I used to go out to do, I want to do at home but I wanna go out to where I live. So I wanna move further out. Instead of having a gym membership, I want a home gym. Instead of going to the community pool, I want my own pool. Instead of having a storage unit, I wanna have enough space in my home to store things. Instead of having a one or two car garage, I want a three or four car garage. I want all of it at home. I want control. I don't want healthcare or other people's politics and opinions and HOA and deed restrictions to bother me. 
These are just some of the reasons, but I don't want to make this a two hour long video. So check out our channel. There's lots of other information about homes on land. But if you're thinking about making a move to the Dallas Fort Worth area, this is one of the things we specialize in and we love it. We'd be thrilled to help you. Our contact information is below. Check out the channel, comment if you have questions. I'll talk to you on the next one.